Well, I'm gonna try to make a little quick fishing video. Um, doing some pan fishing. Uh, just a small creek on the side of the road. Me and Chris over here, we, he's fished it several times. I've fished it a couple times. But you just kind of never know what you're gonna get. And the water's getting clear as it's getting colder. And uh, I got something new I'm trying. I got six pound, it's the PC Fun Braid. And uh, I got like an eight pound, I think, or no, I got six pound leader line on it. Six pound mono, or a four carbon leader on six pound braid on an ultralight rod. And it's fun catching panfish on braid if you haven't done that. Uh, Cause you just feel that direct power. So uh, hopefully I can get a, quite a few different fish out of here. Oh, oh, you had one following. Oh. It's a little bitty one though. Nope. Oh. Beast. <laughs> Calm down there, monster. Little bluegill. Oh, it's cold. Oh, there we go. Hey, here's a red ear. Fish number two. I'm actually throwing a trout magnet around. Uh, switch down size. These fish are the really seem to be small and they're biting real hesitant. But I, I took the leader line, I broke it off. So I'm just throwing the trout magnet straight on the six pound and a little red ear. Oh, blackbirds up there. Gotta clap real loud. And they're loud. Goodness. One of my exes made fun of me because I got light blue. I was like, shut up, I like light blue. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's so fun to feel it on the straight braid. <laughs> There's no give to it, it's just, yeah. even this little guy, you're like, oh, pull it in a whale. A little blue gear. That's what I want to get me a, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I heard your foot start sliding. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting on that too. Yeah. Uh, Chris is just here for comical relief, so. Exactly. <laughs> and snagging. Hey, yeah, there you go. Snags and. Yeah, he'll catch a fish every once in a while. <laughs> the mini trout wagon. I can't remember what he caught or. I must have I must just watched a little bit of it. Yeah, he was just uh, rigging the jig. Oh, there we go. Oh, what is this? Perch. There's the perch. All right, we're trying to get some multi-species going on. A little bit of yellow perch. Everything's just tiny in here, but that's really cool looking. Whatever this guy, he's tiny. But he, oh, there we go, I got him. Well, he's my biggest one today. I Must be. Find what I'm looking for half the time. And you got the little bag. Yeah. Hey, another blue gill. I, I, the more I thought about just getting another one of these bags, just having my like canfish or whatever. In, Have you? I already do that. Oh, man, they're loaded up over there. Oh, and then the giants. Probably just put a bunch of small catfish stuff in it. Is it blue gill? You got a trout magnet on her? Yeah. yeah. I need to order some more. I keep, uh. and that's the thing. Well, I'll, oh yeah, whoa, little guy. I'll order them, then I'll lose them. But I definitely, my favorite is has got to be this the black and green, black and chartreuse. I feel like I could you, you catch fish anywhere. It's just like you can't go wrong with it. Oh oh oh! We got a slab. Hey, another species. There's a red breast. Oh, oh, he's there. Oh, I didn't even see it happen. They had. Ah! All right. Well, I broke off. So I'm gonna change up to the. Uh, what was that called? Root beer. Yeah. Root beer one looking. And see what it does. How much were they? Like yeah, I was, like, I was like right at 100 or something. Like that. Oh, what is this? 
going crazy. Oh, big shiner. That is a huge yeah. shiner. Yeah, I know. It's a, that is ma that's bigger than any that I've seen in the Greenway. Yeah, that's that's look how thick that guy is. These guys are slimy. These guys stay active all winter too. That's another thing about shiners. That's, all right, we're gonna move over to another spot. And um, this, like I said, I'm using that six pound braid and I was throwing the trout magnet and throwing the crick hopper. And um, I'm gonna throw the crick hopper. We're gonna hit up one more spot over there. I think I'm gonna use it a little bit more. See, this, I surprised, I, I got a couple hits on it and one probably not even on camera. But my goodness, people, I love coming to these uh, creeks out in the country, but so do people love throwing their trash there. There's so much trash, we were talking about it. There's a whole dead deer right there, like cut up. Anyways, I'm not the cleanest person in the world, far from it, but just don't throw trash right in the fishing hole at least but let's go to another spot i actually ordered some new hooks what did i do with them i need to try those things out yeah i got some crappie magnet hooks 130 seconds ounce and we'll put a panfish assassin on there Wow, come on. Oh, there we go. Red breast. Oh, nice one, too. Is this is where you caught that bass? Yeah, I'll throw you like right here to that. Uh, oh, there we go. Hey, another perch. It's crazy these perch are up in this creek like this. I'm like, to see a bass in here. yeah. This uh, you just never know what's in this type of creek. There, you think just bluegill, and there's can be all kinds of fish. Oh, they're taking off with it. Oh no, where are you? At? Hey, crappie. Well, for creek, creek size. You're just swimming off with it, and you know it. And there's another species. I was talking to bass and grass a while back, and uh, he called the rock bass red. Hooey! <laughs> just a fighting bluegill. <laughs> nice. Oh, gotcha. Oh, man. Yeah, they're down here. They're really uh, hanging out around this deep puller, around these uh, trees, I think. Yeah, I need to get a cock in here, too. Oh, yeah. I can't help it over there. Get off that tree. There we go. Oh! Flick slime in my face. And jumped off. This right here is one of my favorite setups for multi species, like just pan fishing. I love the size of the hook, uh, 130 second ounce jig head, and the um, pan fish assassin or like a Bobby Garland type lure. Something small, little that just anything could hit from bass to crappie to bluegill or cat catfish, anything. So this, this right here is definitely a go to setup. And uh, I usually will use a um, leader, but it hasn't affected these fish at all. And this water's not super clear. It's a little murky, so. And these fish don't care. They're just looking to eat something, anything that comes in their way. And uh, they're definitely eating. Oh, 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 got him. Like that one right there. They're just eating. The water's kind of cold, too. Who said... Just because it's fall, you gotta stop fishing. Oh, nice. Panfish ones. Oh, nice. Woo wee! Get, oh, no. There he is. You think they fight hard when you're using mono? You gotta feel it, use it on braid. On a braid on a Ozai rod, it feels so strong. That's a good red breast. Oh, that's a good one. 
Hey, what is that? Ah! Rock bass! There's a little fish on top. That's a long one. Look how white his belly is. Oh, yeah. I, I love rock bass. Like, it's one of my favorite species besides uh, smallmouth. His, his belly is like extra white, it seems like. It don't, it seems like they're normally like darker down there. Yeah, it's just cause the water temps are just getting more pale. Yeah, pretty fish. Pale. Bears. Still dry. Oh, that, that over there looks really good if I can get over there. Big old tree here. All right, one more tree. And I'll be right on top of the fish, I think. All right, here we go. Probably scared them all off already. Got stickers all over me. A little, I don't know what, all kinds of stuff on me. Oh, did I have a fish? Oh, I got a fish. I'm trying to get this stuff off my. All this hiking over here wasn't in vain. <laughs> I came through all this stuff, walked out on this tree for this blue good right here. You were worth it, buddy. Now I gotta get all these stickers off my sweater and yeah, outside of my hoodie and inside of my shirt. Yeah, we'll get to all those out in a minute. Oh, there's another one down there. Okay, I may find a little hole. Just drop it a little deeper than I thought right there. Try not to fall off this tree I'm standing on. There's a red breast. Oh, man, look how big that mouth is on the guy. Ooh. Bit my hook. All right, let me sit down on this tree. Oh, and I got one while well, I sat down. Maybe that's what I need to do, Muff. Gotta sit down and fish. Red breast. All right, we're about to wrap this video up. A couple more, maybe. Yeah, gotcha. Colorful red breast. All right, I could probably stay here and catch a bunch more fish, and I might do it, but I'm gonna end this video, and we're gonna talk about ultralight and braid. All right, I will sit on this log and try not to fall off and we'll end this video. The more I fish, the more I think there's no right or wrong way to do it. The more creative ways or more different ways is, is the more fun, the more you can change it up. So the more rod and reels I have, I know it's a problem. I don't want to tell people to keep buying rod and reels, but it's so hard not to because I got this one. Now I got this one here is the PC Fin Carbon X 1000 size with six pound. This is actually PC Fin Braid on a six foot loose ultralight rod. And uh, so technically, so ultralight fishing, what is ultralight fishing? There's a million definitions for it, you know? And basically, I mean, all I'm gonna say is, you, I don't care what you do, I'm, I call it ultralight fishing, and you can call whatever you call it, wanna call it ultralight fishing, but, but putting braid on my, like light to ultra, and ultralight action rods um, is, is fun. It's fun to fish with. It's something I'm, I'm really starting to use braid a lot more. I'll, I might go to something else later on, but the braid or like nano lines, stuff like that, when you catch these panfish, you know, you don't even have to have the drag loose, you can have it tight, and you just feel the direct power. It's like it's like catching on a cane pole. You feel that direct power because there's no drag and there's no stretch in the mono uh, or, or fluorocarbon if you're using, and that's why it's kind of fun. And a lot of times these creeks, um, even right now, I'm surprised they're pretty active. It's Thanksgiving's coming up here a couple of days, and the fish are really active, um, even in this cold water, but they're throwing in lures and they're hammering it, and you're, and you're pulling all over the place, and um, probably caught 15 or 20 fish, just a fun time. Yeah, there's there's gonna be somebody that's gonna say you, you shouldn't put you're not supposed to put braid on this or that's not ultralight fishing or this is not how you do this or you know I, I do a lot of things I try to do it contrary just on purpose sometimes because all the fishing perfectionists out there are always looking to um, criticize you or tell you what you are supposed to be doing and what you're not supposed to be doing or why are you catching little fish why are you doing this why are you doing that I'm like do whatever you want to do that's you know just have fun with it so um, if you haven't tried braid though maybe some like uh, I think they make down to four pound but 
like six pound, eight pound, even 10 pound braid. 10 pound braid is pretty small. You can throw, I was throwing the chop magnet pretty easily on this six pound line. Then, but what I really like is the 130 second sound shake head. Just lets you uh, toss a little out there and catch a good variety of size of, of fish. But I say give it a try. Um, I'll leave my information for this stuff below. Um, there's lots of stuff out there you can get and uh, try out, but mix things up. If you're, if you're thinking about trying something different, uh, or like, you know, I do the same thing all the time. Let me try something different. Or I do this all the time. Let me try it. I'm always looking for something that like, what's just going to be fun to fish. What's going to be fun to do. That's why I'm changing rods and reels, changing lines all the time. Like, hey, how's this one going to feel over here? How's this one going to feel over here? But if you were going to do braid, I would, I would definitely suggest like a 1000 or 2000 size reel. Cause braid's so thin, uh, six, eight, maybe 10 pound braid at the biggest. And, um, I would add a floor, a fluorocarbon leader, a fluorocarbon leader, like a five to six foot of it. Um, with a double uni knot is what I use. That just gives you a little bit of, um, the, it's, it's invisible for the fish to see the line. Also gives you a little bit of, um, abrasion resistance where this can, this stuff gets cut a little bit easier on rocks. So, um, but I, uh, didn't use it today and it did pretty great. So, uh, enough of talking there. I just wanted to kind of cover that and, uh, just keep you always thinking, what do I want? How do I want to have fun? And then get a fishing rod, set up how you want it and go fish with it. Thanks for watching.